Today, we are going to be talking about mukbangs, obesity, and weight gain. Oh my. Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been around here a while. I'm Kendra, this is Kind Kendra Creates. This is my space where I share my weight loss journey with you. Hopefully I can help you out along the way if you're on a weight loss journey. Also, I do commentary on a variety of topics including health, wellness, fitness, weight loss, and anything you send to me. So send me some stuff I'd love to discuss. And also you'll learn about me along the way. So if that stuff sounds good to you, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Okay guys. So I don't know if you heard the news, but I heard it and I was like, oh my gosh, Nikocado Avocado has lost weight. He lost, in his words, like 89 pounds. And when I heard it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And from my understanding, he took a little time away from doing the mukbangs and weight loss occurred. <laughs> Which you're like, yeah, duh. And so now he's kind of like complaining or talking about how like gaining some weight back or whatever. And you're thinking to yourself, yeah, if you do mukbangs, you probably are going to gain weight, right? And so this kind of got me to thinking about the ethics around mukbangs and YouTube and kind of YouTube's responsibility in all of this mess especially with the situation of obesity and weight gain now i really have nothing to say about nikocado avocado because i don't watch his channel i've never watched his channel i don't think i will ever watch his channel because from what i know of him He's kind of like parody, you know, like he's like a character, like he's playing a character or he just over dramatizes things a lot. And I'm not interested in that at all. Uh, like I said, I don't think so. Maybe one day I'll look at it. I don't know. But right now I have no desire to. But um, one person that I have watched on YouTube for a while is Amberlynn Reed. I don't watch her channel directly. I watch reaction channels. I believe they just popped in my feed one day and I just watched it. And I found it kind of entertaining and just funny all around. And also, I just wanted to, I guess you could say, kind of like understand more about her and, and you know, just try to figure out why was she so hated and why was she so talked about. And I have done a couple of videos on her. So check those out, you know, in your leisure or whatever. But I'm necessarily not like focusing on her. I'm just focusing on issues surrounding her. And I love to just talk about those certain issues because they usually affect a lot of people who are overweight, obese, or have gained weight and things like that. But she's been on YouTube like a decade, a very long time. She started out as a weight loss journey channel. And over the years, she has gained a large amount of weight. I believe she started at like 300 something and she got up to nearly 600 pounds. So she gained a massive amount of weight in the time that she's been on YouTube and she did mukbangs I don't think she does those anymore she doesn't do those anymore but she did those for a time period and a lot of people talk about her being on YouTube and YouTube money giving her the ability to gain the weight that she gained because she was able to work from home so she didn't have to venture out of her house which means she was no longer active she had basically access to a large amount of money. So she was able to buy any type of food that she wanted to. And because she didn't go anywhere, she could just get her food delivered to her. And basically a lot of criticisms has surrounded around the idea that, you know, YouTube can be seen as partially responsible for that situation. And also the viewers of her channel can be viewed to be as partially responsible for that. And sometimes I think like we give other people a lot more credit <laughs> for things going on in our life. And I think that a lot of times when those things happen in, pe in people's lives, they're quick to point the finger, you know? How does that 
saying goes like one ping, one finger is pointing at you and you know the others are pointing back at me but a lot of people um don't take responsibility for their part especially when it comes down to weight gain or you know being obese and things like that because we know that a lot of factors go into that whole calculation of a situation but would that ever happen if she wasn't getting all of this money, you know, from YouTube or whatever, would it ever happen if YouTube didn't exist? It makes you think about it, right? The same thing with Hungry Fat Chick. And I've covered her, a video on her as well um, with her failing health, her health issues. And this is what I talk about a lot about, you know, obesity affecting your health. And, you know, some fat acceptance people don't believe that, you know. But you can see from her, her health has been greatly affected <clears throat> by her size. And she also does mukbangs and she makes money from YouTube. And a lot of people, I don't know if I can say that word, but they, I'm just going to say they glamorize her size. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And they like to see her eat because they are intrigued by that situation. I'm trying to like tiptoe around certain words. So it makes you think, would she also be in her situation if it were not for the money from YouTube, the views, the fat admirers out there who like her size, who want to see her eat and things like that? Or is it strictly a person's individual responsibility to be responsibility for their health, their size, their weight, their well-being. I would love to hear your response. Um, so make sure you comment down below. Let's talk about it. And then there's also another creator that I've covered here on my channel, and that's Alexandra Rodriguez. And she actually had weight loss surgery. I want to say she got that surgery maybe when she was like 400 pounds and now she's like 300 pounds. I'm not sure exactly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't watch her channel at all, but I know that, you know, just from like searching around the web and stuff like that. And she's been on the platform for a while and she has a large um, following, a large amount of supporters and also people that do not like her because she's told a lot of lies about a lot of things. Um, she kind of started off in the body positivity realm and then people were like, oh, she's not so body positive because she got like a tummy tuck, a paniculectomy. She got fat removed off of her stomach. She has chin lipo. They say she alters her photos and things like that. But a lot of people draw criticism on the fact that she's only on YouTube to make money. She's only here for the money. She does not care about her audience. She does not care about people. She, you know, puts on a facade to disrupt and deceive her audience so that she can make money so that she can get sponsorships and keep the money rolling in and she did get weight loss surgery and now she's like 300 pounds and from my understanding she hasn't lost any weight in like several months and now she's saying that she's kind of like happy with her body size i am not sure about that but once again it is another person who since they were on youtube gained a large amount of weight and people like I said believe that being on the internet and having the ability to make money and not necessarily being in the outside world and being fit and you know being active or whatever it has basically enabled them to be obese it's enabling them to do that and then others say well this is a personal responsibility thing People need to address their own personal issues that they have within themselves and they need to take responsibility for their actions pretty much. And what do I say? I say, of course, it's a very complicated and complex situation. I was thinking about this and I was thinking about the fact that, yes, people, some people have gained a large amount of weight since being on YouTube. But also, usually people, as they get older, they do tend to gain weight, but not that much weight, though. <laughs> and I would say that no matter how much money someone has, if they don't have 
the predispositions to be a certain way or to do certain things, then you would think that whether or not that they had that money or not, they wouldn't necessarily be that way. Nikocado Avocado, he was a fairly, you know, average sized fellow, you know, before he found this mukbang. And, you know, I would say that there are a lot of other things going on with him at play. And I really can't say, like I say, because I haven't watched him. I don't have any insight into really what's going on with him and the things that he has been going through. But when it boils down to it, it is definitely about personal responsibility and taking accountability for your actions and your behaviors and the things that you do. Do I think that any of these people necessarily want to be this size? No, I don't think so. I think that being this size has greatly affected the quality of their lives. It has been mental strain on them because of the backlash and the negativity and certain comments that they may receive here on YouTube. And a lot of it is not helpful and it's just a lot of trolling and it's just ridiculousness. Nothing really helpful, you know? There are some people that do give criticisms to them that could be considered very helpful and that could be taken from them as being, you know, negativity or hate or bullying or whatever. But I do say that with the advent of social media and the internet and all of this stuff, it has greatly affected people's lives and the ability for them to do positive things. And, you know, anybody can make money, which is great, which is a good thing. You know, it's just made it accessible for more people to make a living, especially those that suffer from like chronic illnesses and things like that, where it's difficult for them to maybe like commute or, or stand up all day at a job or something like that. But for people that are using this to basically destroy themselves, destroy their lives, destroy their bodies, you know, also contribute to the myriad of other issues that they may have, you know, if if they, you know, have already suffered from mental health issues. This only complicates those issues and affects their lives greatly. And if you guys don't know, YouTube does have policies surrounding like eating disorders and things like that. And they talk about those dealing with, you know, extreme calorie restrictions and um, purging and things like that. But those things do not address the binging side of YouTube. And I think that that could be very dangerous to people. I think it could be very dangerous to people. I would never watch that content. There's another creator here on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Tammy Lemon. And she suffers from BED, from my understanding. And she sometimes talks about like how much things that she eats or when she buys food. And it's just so much. And I cannot watch it. It is somewhat triggering for me and it's just like it brings back memories I guess you could say and then also like kind of brings about feelings in me like urges like mm, like I could be doing that or maybe it has me like thinking like I want to do that but I don't want to do that you know so huh, that's content I can't watch and then, of course, I believe though that there should be a lot of education around these certain topics and I don't necessarily believe that discussing them 100% like it's harmful. It's all about education. And that is a lot of times why I talk about the topics that I talk about. Because I just want to talk about them, talk about my opinions about them. I want to hear other people's opinions. And I think it's always good to have a conversation around things like this you know, especially the ethics behind certain things. And it makes you think, is YouTube being ethical in their policies and their treatments of creators on YouTube? And so I'd love to hear you guys' opinion about that. Do you think like mukbangs should be banned or whatever from YouTube? Do you think this is like something that people should be doing on the internet? I don't know. Because, you know, I'm like of the camp that I feel like your body, your choice, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want to do with your body. Nobody should be able to tell you what to do because that is the society that we live in. You know, we live in a free society. I'm talking about here in the U.S. <laughs> 
you know, and you have the right to kind of do, you know, whatever you want to do, just as long as you're not hurting people and committing crimes, you know. But then this is like a company. So they have the right to institute the rules and the regulations of whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it, however they want to do it. But once again, I would love to hear your thoughts, hear your ideas. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I really hope you did. Also, check and see if you're subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you here because I'll be around. Also, make sure you continue to spread kindness in a world full of hate. I will see you on the next time. I appreciate you so much and thank you for watching my videos. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.